Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 best mono red commanders in MTG. Yes, it's everyone's favourite magic mono colour. Why you always lying? Please do like this video and hit that subscribe button. Show your love and support for all things MTG. As always, this list was tallied by the opinions of those on Reddit and Facebook. Now, let's get right into the list. Making it onto the list at number 10, we have Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker. Firmly on my list of commanders I want to build decks around in the future, this Goblin Shaman is wicked. Whilst a 2-2 with haste for 5 CMC may seem expensive, its ability more than makes up for it. Copy target non-legendary creature you control and give it haste. Maybe you want to use this to be a devil and steal opponent's creatures. Copy cards like Molten Primordial and Zealous Conscripts to double down on that effect. Maybe you want to use its effect to straight up deal damage. Copy cards like Fanatic of Mogus and Flame Tongue Carvu and start pinging those peeps. Or maybe you just want a tutor for cards. Copy cards like Imperial Recruiter and Hoarding Dragon. Soon your board will look terrifying and you'll be in a super strong state to succeed. So many ways at your disposal with Kiki and as I said before, Kiki Jiki, you're on my list. You just made the list! In as the ninth best mono red commander, we have Lathalys, Dragon Queen, the undeniable MTG Mother of Dragons. Such a cool commander with the most simple but effective ability. Whenever another non-token dragon ETBs, you get a 5-5 dragon with flying. Not just until end of turn, that's permanently. Play an opportunistic dragon, boom, there's a 5-5 dragon. Play a Rakdos pit dragon, boom, another 5-5 dragon. With Lathless, you're going Dragon Tribal. Get out those must-have dragon equipment like Dragon Tempest and Crucible of Fire and you're getting even more beefy dragons who gain haste and give out even more damage. One of my favourite dragons is Utvara Hellkite and imagine comboing that off with Lathless and everything else mentioned, pure chaos. Lastly, fit in Sarkhan's Triumph and Dragon Lord Serpent to Dragon Tutor and cheapen at the cost of future dragons and soon enough, your opponents will be having a meltdown before your very eyes. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! For the 8th best mono red commander we have Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. And yes, welcome to Enchantment City. Population, Valduk. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you create a 3-1 elemental with trample and haste for each equipment attached to Valduk. There are millions of equipment out there, but I say go cheap for this. The cheaper the equipment, the more you'll be able to equip on Valduk and the more 3-1 elementals you'll be able to create. Of course, if you want to go more splashy with that mana Kashi, you disgust me. Use big equipment like Hammer of Nazahan, Embercleave and Sword of Kaldra and go ham on your opponents. Also, make sure you fill your deck with enchantments like Tooth and Claw, Wormstorm Surge and Bravado. Have those options at your disposal to not only boost those 3-1 creatures entering the battlefield, but also being able to have a sack outlet from them so you can gain more creatures as those entering through Valduk's ability do get exiled when it comes to the next end step. Valduk, you are the man. Hope we see you again in another set one day soon. For the 7th best mono red commander, we have Neheb the Eternal. Who doesn't want a 4-6 zombie minotaur warrior for 5 CMC with all those abilities? For Neheb's ability to kick off, we want to be doing what red does best, pinging and chipping away for all that damage. Start with those creatures that can ping, like Thermo Alchemist and Firebrand Archer. And the always trusty Gathering the Magic card of the deck award goes to Heartless Hidetsugu. Tap it and each player essentially loses half their life and then you've got a ridiculous amount of mana to spend in that second main phase. Finally, add trusty enchantments like Fiery Emancipation and Dictate of the Twin Gods. Why not do double or triple damage to your opponents? Get the game done quicker so you can go back to looking at your beloved Prickly Marmoset collection. Just missing out on the top half, the 6th best mono red commander is Itali, Primal Storm, and this dinosaur didn't come to play no games. Whenever Itali attacks, exile the top card of each player's library, which you can then cast for free. Let's hope you end up top decking some extra turns from your opponents. Whack out your copies of Seize the Day and World at War, because you know you want to go the extra turns with Itali at the helm. Morag from Zendikar Rising would go so perfect in an Itali deck. Play that land for turn and be guaranteed another chance to attack with Itali. Use that trigger and hopefully steal some more insane stuff from your opponents. 
Maybe you want to be that guy and fill your deck with those horrifically powered Eldrazi and hopefully get to cast them off the top of your library for free with that Atali trigger. A super powerful card and another that you bet is on my future commanders to own list. In as the fifth best mono red commander, we have Pertheros, bronze blooded. Like all god cards, this red beast from Theros Beyond Death is a 7 6 indestructible that gives other creatures you control haste. For five mana, it almost seems like a must include in any red deck. It's just that strong. You can use that final ability to get artifacts or creatures who rely on leaving the battlefield triggers like Wormcoil Engine and Ancient Stone Idol to really generate you some value and really put you in a dangerous board presence. If you've already got creatures out like Crater Helion and Stalking Vengeance, then you've already got those extra damage triggers when those creatures enter and exit the battlefield. I myself would personally love to trigger off Perthi's ability and cheat out Blightsteel Colossus. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. Get Blightsteel out, ping and kill someone for 11 infect damage, then when Blightsteel dies, you just shuffle it back into your library, insta-kill, insta-death, insta your friends are not going to be talking to you ever again. For the fourth best mono red commander, we have Perthiros, God of the Force. And oh yeah, we've got two Perthiros in a row. And to trigger Perthros' ability here, we're going to be filling our deck to make the most out of those tokens. Play all sorts of token-loving cards like the ones on screen now, trigger Old Perthi and deal 2 damage to each opponent for every creature that enters. There's more to this deck than just instants and sorceries too. Whack in cards like Siege Gang Commander and Beetleback Chief and you'll be tripling down on those creatures ETB triggers. Now, two artifacts you really want in this deck has to be Ruby Medallion and Panharmonicon. Cheapen all future red spells and have all those creatures ETB triggers pop off twice. Again, getting even more creatures out and triggering Perthros even more. And finally, if you do want to make your opponents extra salty, whack out that impact tremors and start doing that one extra damage whenever a creature enters. Pure evil. Taking the bronze medal spot, the third best mono red commander is Zada, Hedron Grinder. And what a card. You're going to be filling your deck with instants and sorceries to target Zada, because when you do, that spell will copy and target each other creature you control. Target Zada with Accelerate and Expedite, then that will target all other creatures you control, and then you'll be able to draw a load of cards too. Play cards like Fist of Flames and Titan Strength, beef up Zada, and then that'll beef up the rest of your board. Again, if you don't want to go creature heavy, write down a load of token creatures and use those spells to target Zada and then strengthen them all up at the same time. I'll whack a few more on the screen now. Like I said, so many options for mono red cards to target Zada that your deck will be at 100 cards, and before you know it, you'll realise that you haven't even added lands yet. Runner up and the second best mono red commander, we have Torbran, Thane of Red Fell. And from first hand experience playing against Torbran, I can vouch for how powerful this dwarf noble can be. Damn you, Penny. Whenever a red source would deal damage, with Torbran, that damage will add on an extra two, so expect to get burnt a lot. Get in those enchantments like Burning Earth or Spell Shock. Then you also want to get in those creatures that trigger for damage, like Tectonic Giant and Firebrand Archer. You know Red is pesky for chipping away at damage, and with Torbran, that will just add up so quickly. Even with those cheap instants like Shock and Lightning Bolt, the damage will just start adding up, and your opponents will find themselves without a board state before you know it. I'd love to equip Torbran with Helm of the Host, get a non-legendary copy of Torbran, start doing 4 extra damage whenever you deal damage with a red source. Torbran, you the man. The winner by a long, long, long way, the best mono red commander in MTG is Krenko, Mob Boss. Yes, everyone's favourite Goblin Gangster won by a long way, and you know where this is going. Yep, Goblin Tribal. Get out the millions of available Goblin cards, so many which benefit other Goblins too, giving other Goblins plus one plus one, other Goblins haste and so on, and be tapping Krenko to create even more Goblins, where X is the amount of Goblins you already control. Add into your deck those legendary goblins like Pashalik Mons and Muxus Goblin Grandee and cheat out even more goblins. As I've said in other parts of this video, there are so many goblin token sorceries too, and if you get out those artifacts that allow you to untap, such as Mage Right Stone and Umbral Mantle, then you could be tapping Krenko multiple times in a turn and just have a swarm of goblins before you know it. 
This is a commander that if you don't deal with quickly, will soon become too wide to deal with and will crawl all over you to Victory City. There we have it, that is the list. Please do like this video and if you're still watching, show your support and hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all our socials linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. For now though, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.